What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Genevieve here and today we are creating a friend's apartment. So it's basically Rachel and Monica's apartment that you see in the season or series of friends um, in South Africa you can watch it on Comedy Central I'm not too sure about overseas but this series has been going on for quite some time I think it's about 10 or 11 years now so it is quite an old series if you have never heard of the friend of friends I would definitely recommend you go check it out and just watch a few episodes it is really funny and it's just it's basically a whole bunch of friends that live close to each other and they basically do everything together they go through crises with each other they um, just love life basically so today we're creating Rachel and Monica's apartment um, so I do have pictures that I used in order to try replicate this apartment as much as possible so I will have those pop up in the right or left hand side of this video um, just so that you can have a reference in terms of what I am building. So right now we're just creating the kitchen. So Monica's kitchen is very blue and it's got a brick wall which I think looks really nice. And then it's also very cluttered. So there's a lot of ornaments and objects all over the kitchen. So I did use the red counter or the red shelf if you want to say. I don't know if you guys know about that but it's a CC object that you can download. I will have it in the description box. And it just helps you to clutter your counters and to um, ensure that your objects don't stick to the specific areas of that counter if that makes sense. So, so yeah, now I'm just using the red shelf. So as you can see, I'm adding a whole bunch of objects onto this red shelf. And then I'm going to move away the objects that these um, cluttered items are going to stick to in order to have that movement and to ensure I can place it where I want to without it sticking to those specific areas, if that makes sense. So yeah, so now we're just creating the kitchen. Um, she does have purple doors, the purple door as an entrance, and then around the house she's got a pur purple door as well for the bedrooms and the bathroom. So it's a very colorful apartment, but I absolutely loved creating this build. It was just something completely different, and just the way that her furniture is placed and the clutter, it just makes it look very homely, and I think your sims will really enjoy living here. And then obviously in the Friends um, series, Joey and Chanda live next door. So this is the beginning stages of the series. Eventually they move apart and um, Rachel eventually moves in with Joey, Chanda moves in with Monica. So everything basically changes during the whole season or series itself. But I just created this based on when Monica and Rachel were living together. So yeah, so now we're just adding a whole bunch of decor items to the walls um, and I think the, the kitchen came out pretty well. It replicates the kitchen quite well compared to the images that I used. So I was very happy with that. And then she also does have pastel purple walls going around her whole apartment. And then there is a green door on the end of her apartment that in one episode Chanda tries to get into. <laughs> So I didn't know what to do with that space, I didn't want to leave that room blank, so I basically made it as though it's a kitty's room. So eventually she's been hiding and she's always wanted a baby, Monica and Chanda have been trying to have a baby when they started dating and eventually they end up adopting if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I just made it like the green room is basically a hidden place for when they have a baby. So I thought that was really awesome. So you can have um, a couple living in this apartment as well as eventually if you want them to have a baby, there's at least a room for the baby to stay in or the child. So yeah. <laughs> So now we're just creating the walk-in area. So I just put a table on the side with two different colored chairs. And yeah, so <laughs> one, one thing that made me um, create this build is, you, I don't know if you guys know the Billy Ray Cyrus Old Town Road song. So there's been memes going around with the whole meme of friends with Joey Chandler and Ross in the kitchen and then the monkey puts in the CD and it just starts playing a song and they start dancing to it and there's been memes going around with Old Town Road playing on that song and it just goes so perfectly with that video. It's honestly amazing. I absolutely love it and I 
laugh so much when I watch it. I'm actually going to include it in this video coming up right now um, just so you guys can see what I'm referencing to and it, it is hilarious. I hope you guys enjoy this little snip um, just to relate to this video a bit more. <laughs> I just... I, Marcel, where are you going with that disc? You are not putting that on again. Marcel, okay, if you press that button, you are in very, very big trouble. Hey, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black. Got the bushes black to match. Riding on a horse. Ha, you can whip your horse. So yeah, so that's the video that I was referencing to. I think it's absolutely hilarious and I abs oh gosh, it's so funny. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. I just wanted to mention I have no music rights or any rights to that video. So I will um, include all the details down below in terms of like Billy Ray Cyrus and um, Friends itself just to relate to that video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Every time I watch it, I just can't stop laughing. It's so funny. But anyways, let's get back to the video. So now we're creating the lounge area. So just the different aspects of her furniture. Nothing is the same, which I absolutely love. So the couches are different. So you get the main three-seater and then you get a small one-seater that's completely different to the main seater. And then it's also like a very old and just very stylish. And Monica is very OCD I would say um, her character if something is moved or something's not in its place I remember there was a series or episode where Chandler kept leaving his shoes on the floor and she was just getting so irritated about it so yeah so Monica's very OCD so in this home she likes to have everything where it's supposed to be and if someone does touch it she will literally go crazy so I absolutely love that of love that character of Monica but sometimes she can get very overboard and but anyways oh well that's just her character and then Rachel on the other hand she's just very she goes with the flow she was brought up very differently to Monica um, she basically lived in a family where her father was very wealthy and she would basically get whatever she wanted So and then she was also getting married in the beginning stages of this whole series and then she broke off the wedding or the husband broke off the wedding and She landed up at Monica's apartment and she moved in So yeah, her personality is completely different to Monica. She's very um, down to earth and she goes with the flow and nothing bothers her so yeah, I think having those two opposites in one building, I think that's really awesome. I am going to do a create a sim where I create the, the group of five, I think it's five. So it's Johnny, uh, Joey, Chandler, um, Ross, Monica, Rachel and Phoebe. So it's six of them. I am going to create them in a create a sim. So if you do want to see that, just keep an eye out on my channel. And that should be up very soon. And then I will also create Joey and Chandler's apartment next door. So I did create this in the um, city where, which comes with city living. I think it's San Marais or something like that. I can't remember the name. Um, but yeah, I built it in a studio apartment. So the apartments aren't separate, unfortunately. Like you can't um, have people purchase Joey and Chandler's side and then have another two people purchase Monica's and Rachel's side. Um, but the spaces of the other apartments were very difficult to work with and some of them were too big and the other ones, the walls around the apartment buildings you can't really move so I couldn't create the balconies. So I just decided to create this in the studio building and yeah, I think it turned out really well. I'm really excited to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think of this build and if you feel like it looks like Rachel and Monica's apartment. But yeah, so... Now we're just creating, we just created a side area of the lounge. So if you look at the images or the um, TV show, she, there's like a step that goes higher than where the lounge is. Unfortunately, we can't do that in apartments where we create a higher level. But I just created um, a little space there and then there is a desk with nothing on it. So I just decided to put a computer on there so your sims can just go and have some fun there and do what they have to do. And now we're just creating the bathroom. Now the bathroom looks completely different to what it does in the, the film itself or the series. 
I do apologize for that. It's just so big and I just didn't know what to do with the space because Monica's bathroom is very, very small. But I did stick to the same color wallpaper um, to her bathroom and the tiles. But yeah, in these type of builds, if the images do not come on, come up when you type in on Google, I do just try and improvise and just create and just make it look like something special, something completely different. So yeah, I'm sorry if that irritates any of you guys that it's not exactly the same. But yeah, especially like Rachel's room, you hardly see any um, images of her room online. Um, I don't even know what type of episodes they show her room in. So I just went with Monica likes her pinks and her room is very pink. And then I went with Rachel who I would believe maybe likes purple. So I just went that with that color scheme. But I think in the end it looks really good and very pretty and it definitely a girly apartment, which I think is amazing. So so yeah and so now we're just completing the interior of the bathroom so red walls red and white walls and then a nice carpet so yeah it is much bigger than what it is in the series but oh well they live a luxury life in the sims <laughs> not like the friends series so so yeah um, I just wanted to mention if you guys haven't checked out my other videos on my channel, you're more than welcome to do so. I've done a few series such as the Pulp of Girls where I created the whole of Townsville. Um, I just created the Mad Hatter's Home which I feel like came out so awesome. So I created it in a 20 by 30 or 20 by 20 lot. Um, and I used the Terran tool to lift the mountains up. So you're basically in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by a whole bunch of mountains. And I thought that looked really awesome. And then I also did create the Mad Hatter as well. So if you're interested in seeing those type of videos, please go check out my channel. You can like and, su like and subscribe and hit that notification bell in order to get notified when I do upload more videos. But yeah, so now we're creating the, the balcony. So I did keep it to like the whole color scheme because Monica's apartment's very colorful. So I wanted to include that um, color scheme all over the apartment. So outside they do have a balcony. Um, it doesn't really have much on it, but our Sims are more needy than what people are in films or movie shows. <laughs> So I decided to just make it a nice cozy balcony where they can come outside, have a bra or six of them and just relax. And this just reminds me of one of the episodes um, where they all buy like 50 lotto tickets and Phoebe eventually throws them off the balcony and <laughs> majority of the lotto tickets are gone. So that just reminded me of that. And now we're moving on to Rachel's bedroom. So her bedroom is very pink and her walls are just decided to use blue walls because just to dial down that pink a bit so it doesn't look too too girly because Monica herself does not look that girly I mean she wants to be a chef um, I know she's very OCD so that's part of a girl personality I guess <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to tone down the pinks a bit and yeah I think her room looks very pretty and now we're just doing her desk or her um, beauty section where she can do her makeup and all of that there is only one bathroom in this apartment i was just very confused i did type in the bathrooms in monica's apartments and it seemed like there were two in some of the episodes or there was one or the one that they did show was rachel's uh bathroom it, it was very confusing so i just left out the bathrooms <laughs> so there's only one bathroom in this apartment which i feel is perfectly fine it's big enough for both of them and also for guests so so yeah so her room is pretty big and you can't see sections of her room so I just put a chair in the corner there just to fill the space and then I did add a bookshelf just for her to sit there and read a book if she just wants to chill out or if she wants to read cooking books for her career she's more than welcome to do that and then I do add a um, a computer over here just for her to play some games or Get away from the world get away from Chandler or Rachel if they ever get into a fight she can just come to her room and be nice and homey and keep herself busy so yeah so I thought that was really awesome so now we're just finishing with the interior of right um, Monica's bedroom and then now we're gonna move on to Rachel's bedroom as well 
so like I mentioned you hardly see any images or videos of her bedroom so I made her like purple um, I don't know if she does but I just feel like with her personality she might like purple so <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's just what we went for and that's what we got and that's what we had to work with. So so yeah, so now we're moving on to Rachel's bedroom. Um, so if you guys don't know, a lot of my builds that I try to create um, in terms of TV shows or movies, I do add a few little um, differences just to make it look more homely and to fit your son's needs because um, in some of the builds that I've seen or I've wanted to replicate they don't really have much things that the sims need in terms of like the computers or the games television to keep themselves entertained so i do add those little things in if need be if i feel like your sim is going to get bored and has nothing to do so i do improvise in that aspect and i hope you guys are okay with that um but yeah so now we're just adding in a computer desk in rachel's room as well just to let her get away from everyone as well if she gets into a tit for tat um, with any of the members. So yeah, her room is very pink and purple. And yeah, and then after this, we are basically done. So, oh no, after this, I'm going to move to the baby room. So obviously there is no baby room in Friends whatsoever because none of them have children um, until Phoebe falls pregnant with triplets <laughs> or <laughs> twins. I can't remember if it was triplets or twins, but... Monica and Chanda eventually want to have a baby and they eventually do if I'm not mistaken So we'll be adding that baby room into this build as well So it's in that green room where majority of people make it a closet um, Or just where Monica chucks all of her things that she does not need in this apartment um, so I decided to make it more like interesting and for Chandler to be even more interested in what is in this room and so Little does Chandler know Monica's been planning to have a baby with him since and she's been decorating the room and making sure everything's in place so if they do adopt or eventually fall pregnant um, there's a room available for the little boy or little girl so yeah I thought that was a really cool um, just little thing to add into this build um, especially if you don't want to include friends in terms of that in this apartment and you do have a family with a child or a baby this part apartment's perfect for that family as well so it's very versatile and yeah you can have different types of sims living in this apartment so i did create the baby room and it was it's very blue so i didn't want to stick to i should have made it like beige because of them not knowing if they're going to have a boy or girl but you're more than welcome to change the color scheme of that room um so yeah i thought that was a really awesome and just a little trick to add into this build so yeah so now we're just finishing the walkway in the apartment so leading to the bathroom leading to the um, balcony as well as the baby room so now we're going on to the baby room so very blue and as i mentioned very blue and it's got all that a child needs so i thought that was perfect and yeah so we're going to come up to the snippets now of what each room looks like and i really hope you guys enjoyed this build i hope you guys are having an amazing day night evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you in the next one bye